I was laying in bed and I thought I was going crazy, but no, it's actually raining. I just checked the radar and there was no rain in the forecast. Where did all of you come from? Good morning, guys. It is currently like 10.30 in the morning. And as you've seen earlier, I was already up once today. So I made myself some breakfast. And I also started in on When Dimple Met Rishi. So I'm a little bit further than I was when I did my check-in last night. But not much. I'm on page 38. So I've read 30 more pages. And then I took a little bit of a nap because I was up so early this morning. So I think I'm just going to lay... Well, I'm going to get another snack. Because it's been like four and a half hours since I've eaten. And then I also think I'm going to read a little bit more. Ow! It slipped out of my hand. I'm going to read a little bit more of When Dimple Met Rishi. Whoa. What is going on over here? It's just, I don't know. Okay, that doesn't look much better. Now it looks like I have like slimy hair. Anyway, before I go outside and read the prod, the prodigy, the prod, prodig, prodigy, progeny. Oh my gosh. Progeny? It's not prodigy. Progeny. Before I go outside and read Progeny, because I can only read that book outside, but I just checked the weather, and it's pretty humid today out there. I don't think I'm going to like being out there too much, so I don't really know how much of my outdoor book's going to get read today. Ms. Macy? Ms. Macy? Good morning. Good morning. Aww. He's so pretty. What did you do? Did you shred this Q-tip? Did you do this? That's bad. Look at him. He's like, I'll take it. Give it back to me. Rufus. <gasps> so naughty. Hello again, guys. I figured we could do a little bit of an update. It is currently about noon on my booktubeathon day two. Right? Is it this day day two? I started on Friday. Oh no, it's day three. Holy shit. Just kidding. It's day three. I have been reading When Dimple Met Rishi this morning. I'm on page 70. I'm glad that this book is fulfilling the things that I wanted going into it. It's funny. It's cute. And that's all I really wanted. Dimple is a woman after my own heart. She is so bold and so sassy. And I just really appreciate your anti-misogynistic attitude towards things. I appreciate you, Dimple. We need more of you in the world. Yesterday I was sitting out here on the couch watching my nook and Maisie kept pacing and pacing and I only had You one, were in her spot. I only had one little section. <laughs> that is her couch. What was I saying? She interrupted me and I lost my train of thought. Okay, we have people coming over today. We're celebrating my birthday and my grandpa's birthday. So I don't really know how much reading I'm going to get done while they're here. Probably none. If I want to be polite towards our guests, I should say none. So before they get here, I plan to read a little bit of The Progeny, which I correctly pronounced this time. I'd like to get to page 100. I don't know if I can do that in an hour. I'm not the fastest reader. Also, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this to you guys earlier in a different clip, but I am not a person who switches between books. Usually I pick up one thing and then read it until completion and then pick up something else. And the fact that I'm reading The Progeny, When Diplomat Rishi, Six of Crows, and then short stories is just very overwhelming. I just feel like I'm getting book whiplash, just like that. Talk about how much this bruise hurts. Can you see it? It's like right where my knees come together. So whenever my knees hit, it pushes on this bruise and it hurts so bad. And then look at this one right there. I don't know what I did. I'm convinced that I beat myself up when I'm sleeping. So I always wake up with these kinds of bruises. I have no idea where they came from. I am also super klutzy. So it is possible that I just ran into something and forgot about it. <laughs> Friends? After I tried, we spent time trying to connect the old equipment. Hi, Otzi. Hi, Otzi. Yeah. Mm. All right. Get out of here. Yeah. You still have some, though. Up here. It's like pitch black up there. Up that way? Oh, wow. You guys think it's storming over there? I don't know. Maybe not. Sun. Storm. Well, 
lost our sun and we got some cold wind now. The sun just left us. Well, we've officially been issued a severe thunderstorm warning. Do you ever just like feel like you look like a a drowned rat. We're outside enjoying the rest of the nice day. My grandparents just left from celebrating my birthday and my grandpa's birthday. We had some chicken and macaroni salad and I made some corn for dinner and it was pretty delicious. And then we had ice cream sundaes. Well, I had an ice cream sundae for dessert. A lot of people had cake and then they left and we all went outside to hang out by the pool. That lasted about 10 minutes before those storms started rolling in. And we live in a really flat area, so you can really see storms rolling across the horizon. It's kind of cool, because you can really tell when you're about to get hit with some severe weather, because you can watch the whole thing happen. Anyway, so that means that my reading a book outside challenge abruptly came to an end. I've been reading The Progeny outside and I'm loving it. I actually spent most of the family time outside today. My arms are getting tired, hold on. Everybody else was inside the kitchen table because I was enjoying my book so much. It's so fast paced, it's so interesting. If you like The Conspiracy of Us, I also think you'd enjoy this. They're kind of similar in that there's a conspiracy theory and there's a girl who's part of the secret organization and she doesn't really know anything about. It's about her discovering said organization and finding out her role and there's like history and lots of fun things involved like the da vinci code like national treasure things i love so i've been really really enjoying this and i managed to get through 105 pages of this book today i'll probably read some more of this now that i'm inside since i can't read the progeny which sucks because i've been really 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 enjoying it so i'm probably gonna pick up this book next which i'm also super enjoying they're just so very different almost in a day three i can't believe we're already almost halfway through the readathon Time's going by so fast. I really need to work on completing at least one challenge. I gotta finish, I'm not gonna finish a challenge today. Crap. I really need to finish a challenge. What I need to do is finish this book. Cause once I finish this book, I will finish three challenges. So I really gotta finish this one. That's gonna be my project for the rest of the day. Although Game of Thrones is on later. And I will obviously be taking a reading break to watch that. Okay, now the sun is starting to peek through again all of that and it only rained for about 30 seconds. I literally just walked out here and said I betcha there's a rainbow out there somewhere. And there it is. There's the rainbow. Oh. You guys still hear the thunder? It's still thundering but there's a rainbow right there. I'll let you guys see Maisie more than me. She's cuter anyway. I've been laying here for like 45-ish minutes debating on whether or not I wanted to go on a walk. However with the thunderstorm warning. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to get rained on. I really don't want to get rained on. So I've been debating back and forth if I'm going to go or not go or go or not go. And I think I'm just going to do it. If I get rained on, I'll just call my parents to come pick me up. She's being my little buddy right now. <laughs> she looks real sassy. These late night updates just really capture my best self, I think. Day three has officially come to a close, so I thought I'd give you an update stats-wise on how my third day of Booktubeathon went. So I both started and ended the day with When Dimple Met Rishi by Sundaya Manan. I read a total of 84 pages from this book today. I'm still really enjoying it. It's just so cute and so funny and just like a fun summer feel-good contemporary. And then I also read some of The Progeny by Tosca Lee today. I read a total of 104 pages from this one. I spent so much time outside today when I was supposed to be inside for family time reading this book because it's just so good. It's so interesting and captivating. I just want to know what happens and I want to know the secrets and I want to know what she's running from and why she erased her memories. want to know everything and I'm really bummed that I can only read it when I'm outside. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm totally loving it. And then I also listened to a total of 34 more pages from Six of Crows and I have to say that I'm enjoying this much more the second time around. I don't know if it's because I've read the Grisha trilogy. I have lower expectations for this. I'm listening to an audiobook, a combination of everything, but I just am enjoying my reread of this a lot more. The audiobook is fantastic. They have a different narrator for each of the six perspectives, which I really appreciate. It makes it really easy to differentiate who's talking. I really enjoy the fact that I know so much more about this world. I'm so much more invested in this world. At least in Six of Crows, there's not really any crossover characters from the Grisha trilogy. However, a lot of like the world building 
is a crossover, obviously. And so caring about the world and caring about this different groups of people and such makes reading this so much more enjoyable. And then also I know going into it that the heist doesn't happen until much closer to the end. So I'm not like sitting there waiting the whole book for the heist. I'm really getting to enjoy the background stories more and enjoy learning and meeting these characters knowing that I won't get the heist for a while. So I think going into it not thinking it's going to be 400 pages of a heist has definitely helped as well. So I'm excited to continue reading this and I cannot wait to finally be able to read Crooked Kingdom because I've heard nothing but amazing things about Crooked Kingdom. I think like page count wise I'm right on track with hitting like that 13 hundred number that I normally hit for Booktubeathon. I just don't know about like the finishing of the challenges. I need to finish something. I need to stop starting new books and actually finish a book. It's been three days. We're on day four. I need to finish a freaking book. That should be my goal tomorrow, to finish a book. I gotta go to bed because I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah.